Today we're talking about golf shafts, specifically the shaft options with the Titleist TSR drivers and fairy woods. So Thomas, a huge component of selecting the correct T Titleist TSR fit for you is of course the golf shaft. Um, we've got, I can't even count how many golf shafts are on this <laughs> desk right now. So, um, you know, we can, I think we're kind of start with, you know, maybe the lightest and kind of go to the heaviest and maybe more stiff golf shafts. But uh, just give me the overview here of, you know, why exactly selecting the golf shaft um, is important and, you know, making sure it's the right one for your game. Yeah, so I mean, a lot of it comes down to the way the club, the, the golfer delivers the, the golf shaft. Yeah. So we talk about, we talk about tempo, yeah. um, we talk about swing speed, mm -hmm. uh, we talk about what they're trying to achieve in, in, their, in their game. Mm -hmm. So whether they're trying to pick up some club speed or if they're looking for a golf shaft, it's going to be nice and stable yep. and have any resistance to twisting. Sure. So there's a lot of things we'll talk about with torque is, you know, the, the lower the torque generally, the better the resistance to twisting. Right, right, and we've got you know a wide range of kind of those those torque levels um, with these golf shafts here. So yep. we can start the lightest option in the line here. This is the hazardous uh, red option here. So talk to yep. me about that shaft. Yeah, so hazardous red counterbalance golf shaft. Um, so you're holding there um, the lighter option. So this is the 4.0. Some people call it a, a woman's golf shaft. I just like to call it a 4.0 because yeah. there. Let's face it. There's some woman that will swing stiffer golf shafts. Oh yeah. And there's some men that will, will need a lighter golf shaft to help them. So yep. I like the fact that, you know, Project X, you know, they, they rate it by 4.0 or 5.0 5 or 5.5. Yep. Cause all that's really telling me as a club fitter is, you know, it's, it's based on what we're seeing with their, with their swing speed. Yeah. Um, so you're holding the hazardous red 4.0. Um, that one has a very, very high torque at 6.5. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the only golf shaft that weighs less than 50 grams, so okay. it's 47 grams. Okay. So even though it says you know 4.0, 40 or 50 or 60, just know that it's going to be in that category. So yeah. if it's a if it's a 50 gram category, it may be between 50 and 59 grams. Sure, weight. sure. Yeah. So speaking of that category now, the I guess the hazardous red, but the quote unquote men shafts. I mean, we talked about again. It's all about how the player delivers the club, yep. but. That next category up in terms of the 5.0 to 6.0, and then like you mentioned, that 50 gram category here. Yeah. So yeah, these are kind of like your your mid to high launch golf shafts. So mm -hmm. the hazardous red counterbalance, and that's the same with with the 4.0 as well. Um, so these are going to have a little higher torque to them. Um, generally speaking, you know your 5.0 that's going to be for your your slight your, your golfers are looking for a little more extra help for club speed. Okay. Um, so getting 5.5, that's kind of closer to kind of regular. Flex, yeah. and then the, the six point all is kind of in that in that stiff flex category. Oh, okay. So they have a kind of a weight range. The five, the the fifty grams, kind of like 51, 52, 53 grams. Okay. So it's a fairly light golf shaft. Gotcha. Um, the sixty gram is right around the sixty grams. Actually, it's just under okay. with regards to weight. So they're lighter golf shafts. Um, you got a torque torque range kind of between four and a half and six yep. when it comes to that. So they're they're a great counterbalance golf shaft. Um, yeah, they're, they're great because they not only they're going to launch fairly high, yeah, they help to get the ball up in the air, but they they feel pretty good too. Yeah, and this is probably the one that's going to fit kind of the I wouldn't say the the most common uh, you know type of golfer out there probably someone that's not a scratch player, someone that doesn't have a ton of swing speed. Uh, that's where the hazardous red fits, and it's probably going to be a pretty popular one with the TSR line. So. Yep. Um, next, now we have the it's, they keep kind of tweaking this, right? The Tensai AB Blue. This is with the X-Link technology. Yes. So yep. uh, talk to me about this one here. Yeah, so you talk about kind of the tweaking. I think the most important thing is, you know, your X-Link or straight flight technology they had yeah. for a while is, it, the goal is to help find a way to get that, that golf ball to fly straight. Yeah. So, you know, it still has the SFW in it. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of a little add, added technology here. Um, so this one, it comes in a 55, a 65, and a 75. Wow. Generally, 75 is probably going to be your fairy woods, yeah. but there you, you can definitely get fit into a heavier driver shaft as well. Sure. Yeah. And um, that's mid-launch, basically, yeah. kind, so of, kind of across the board. Yeah, so slightly yep. lower launch maybe than the, the hazardous red. Um, yep. So, you know, the player, it still kind of fits that weight category, obviously, like you mentioned, it has the 55 and the 65, so yep. kind of close there, but just slightly on the heavier side and slightly on the lower launching side compared to the hazardous red. Yep. So next then, hazardous uh, black, right? Yep. So 
This is a, they've kind of, again, they're tweaking this hazardous. They've gone to hazardous smoke black, hazardous RDX black. They've kind of changed it. Now they've gone back to this hazardous black here. Yep. Um, and talk to me about this one here. Obviously, we're getting kind of lower in the launch and spin. Yeah, this, this is a very common shaft. You can probably see in this in a, a lot of drivers for those golfers that have a little bit more speed. Mm -hmm. um, you definitely see this is kind of a, a pretty common fit. And the hazardous, whether it's a smoke, whether it's hazardous, whatever it is. Yeah. It's been great. The, mm -hmm. the hazardous um, black line has been exceptionally great, and you'll see it. You see it in a lot of manufacturers in the last few years. Right. So it's been a great option there. So with them, a lower, slightly lower launch angle, so low to mid with mm -hmm. regards to, to to launch angle, and then a lower torque. So we're talking quite low on on the torque numbers there, kind of between I don't know two and a half and and five degrees is kind of what you're looking at. Okay. You also have an 80 gram category with these golf shafts. So once yeah. again, thinking I'm thinking more or less for fairy woods and, and hybrids, but you can definitely still get fit into yeah. if you're a golfer that needs something very, very heavy and stable, you could definitely even go kind of heavier there too. Sure. Yep. So the last of the, I guess, the featured shaft options for TSR, yep. um, this is also a new model for the TSR line here, kind of into 2023. So this is the Tensai 1K Black. So this is, I believe, a completely new model that has not really been in Second Swing's kind of offerings um, before 2022. So talk to me about this one and the properties here. Yeah, so this is this is your board, this is your, your stout golf shaft. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a very, very stable feel. Um, 65, 75, 85 gram category. Um, so you know, when you talk about 85 gram, we're talking in the TX, it actually weighs 90 grams. Yeah. So you know, we're, yeah, we're, they're, they're very, very heavy stiff golf shafts, very, very low torque, mm -hmm. um, low launch. Low yeah. launch profile is what you're looking for with, with these particular golf shafts. Okay, so now in front of you now, we have uh, the premium shaft offerings with the Titleist TSR. Those yep. do come with an upcharge, uh, so if you get fit and um, you're looking to really go for the best of the best golf shaft you can put into that driver, into that fairy wood, you have these from Graphite Designs. There's three different models here. Walk me through each of these, Thomas. Yeah, so Graphite Design, they have a great partnership with Titleist. The fact that you can get these, I think it's a $200 upcharge, yeah. and you're, you're, the fact you can get it at that discount on price and get these excellent Graphite Design golf shafts yeah. is awesome. So we have three of them. So let's talk about, I guess, the two higher launching golf shafts here first. And when I say high launch, the unique thing about Graphite Design is high launch but low spin. Yeah. So particularly the DI and the XC. So the, okay. the DI is going to be kind of like your high launch, high spin, uh, low spinning golf, golf shaft. Feels exceptionally good. And the nice thing with those is you've got a weight category from the 50 gram all the way up to the 80 grams. Okay. So yeah. you're covering a wide base there yeah. Uh, yeah. For, the, some, for the player that need or kind of wants that upcharge shaft but also needs that higher launch maybe and they can still do it with, you know, not increasing that spin too much. Yeah, and like the, the 50 gram category, that's going to be your, you know, slightly higher launching golf shaft, yeah. naturally an 80 gram golf shaft. It's going to, you know, it's going to launch a little, right, a little right. lower there too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, DI, it's, I mean, you've seen this golf shaft yeah. for oh, a yeah. number of years now. It's an e excellent option. Yeah, it's iconic yeah. design. You see it all over golf too. And there's yeah. a reason it's been so successful for so long. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, so we've got the IZ. IZ, it's actually kind of a fairly similar golf shaft to the, D, the DI. The only thing different with, when we're talking about graphite design golf shafts, is kind of where the, the bending point is in the golf shaft. So mm -hmm. they, they might be tip stiff, or it yeah. might be butt stiff, or, or it might not, maybe not as stiff in those sections. So a lot of this will come down to feel. Okay. So when, when you're you know, getting fit for these particular shafts, it might be a little more feel, how that feels in the, in the golf swing. So that's the kind of difference I see with, with the IZ and, and, the, and the DI. And okay. you know, they're definitely kind of a little more differences in the butt section, midsection, and the tail. Okay, but the performance is still generated at, at kind of high launch, right? Yeah, both of them a little bit. Right. Uh, just to maybe some feel differences that you'll notice as the player, maybe in your hands as you deliver the club. Yeah, I mean, that's the ultimate goal of the driver, right? High right. launch, low spin. Right, right, so exactly. So higher launch, but lower, lower spinning golf sure. shafts. And then, so this year, um, they have replaced the, the uh, XC golf shaft, and they've decided to put the UB in instead. Okay. Uh, you still can get the XC if you need to. It's just not going to be at that two hundred dollar price. Right. It'll be more kind of what okay. you would normally pay for that that golf shaft. So the, the UB is a little slightly lower launching golf shaft. Okay. Um, it's compared to the, the other two. Once again, with graphite design, we're talking about butt section, mid section, tip section, and kind of feel. And actually, really nice. Like graphite design website, they've got a nice chart there where the kind of where 
the, the stiffness is, yep. and it will show you exactly kind of the differences in those particular sure. golf shafts there sure. too. So, yeah, so excellent options. I, uh, I have played a graphite design golf shaft for a mm -hmm. long, long time. Um, and like to mention, the feel in, in certain sections is going to come down to whether you find the need to upgrade yeah. and, and play that particular golf shaft. Right, yeah, and I think it's something that the golfer that isn't necessarily on a tight budget maybe should really consider because I think they're, like you mentioned, there's some serious performance upgrades that do come with this more consistency, but also the player that is looking for high launch, low spin, I think they're maybe more uh, sure of getting that with yep. this upgrade here. Um, and that's not to say these options aren't well performing in their own right, but uh, there's a reason there's that upcharge and I think it's been so successful and that partnership has lasted as long as it has between uh, the Greenall Graphite Design and the Titleist and having that, that featured, I guess, featured and then premium shaft uh, difference there, so. Um, yeah, I would finish off and say here, you know, when you're talking about a high launch golf shaft or a low spinning golf shaft, keep in mind that these results are gonna be player dependent. Yeah. So a lot of it will come down to feel mm -hmm. uh, and, and how it, that particular golf shaft feels in your hands and also how you particularly deliver that golf shaft. Right. That is why it's important to come in and yeah. you know, once you figure out which head you like, what loft you like with the driver, then try a multiple different different golf shafts. Yeah. Now we're talking about seven different options here. There's also other options out in the market too. These are just the ones that Tyler specifically has offered with their with their club heads. Yeah. But most important thing is to test these golf shafts because everyone is going to re react differently. Yep, exactly. I think the, the bottom line here is we can't tell you on this video exactly the shaft you need without you coming in and getting fit, talking with a fitter, and then we can for sure dial you into the right golf shaft for your Titleist TSR driver or Ferrywood. Uh, so schedule your fitting at secondswing.com. That can be in one of our store locations or it can be online with one of our master fitters over the phone and we'll get you dialed in. So Thomas, thanks for joining today and giving us all the insight on Titleist TSR shaft options.